we want to thank NASCA for its recognition of the state of Colorado with the Innovations and in State Government Award for financial management for the use of invitations to negotiate and the procurement of health care benefits for our state employees. The Colorado Department of Personnel and Administration sets the rules, policies, and procedures for purchasing approximately $1.5 billion annually in goods and services that allow state agencies to meet the needs of Coloradans while ensuring tax dollars are spent wisely. Traditionally, Colorado utilized a request for proposals procurement process. This one-size-fits-all methodology often favors vendors and limits the bargaining power of the state. In 2019, the department set a goal to rethink the procurement process by creating an invitation to negotiate solicitation methodology. Through this approach, the state hoped to improve efficiency and foster innovation by encouraging competitive bidding through a solution-oriented negotiation process. ITNs benefit the state by allowing for more flexibility to adapt to the scope of work, pricing, and structure of a contract. Over the course of the year, the state procured more than two-thirds of its annual spend in goods and services utilizing ITNs. A large portion of this was achieved through the procurement of a new health insurance benefits package for state employees, which is typically done every five years. Most states rely on the request for proposals process for complex solicitations. This approach has remained largely the same for nearly 40 years, while the problems and solutions facing governments continue to grow more and more complex. The RFP process limits discussion and the ability to negotiate. The invitation to negotiate process is a highly innovative procurement methodology that few utilize in the public sector. An ITN provides greater flexibility than traditional RFPs, maintains the state's bargaining power, and ensures a meeting of the minds before the contract is signed. ITNs allow the state to negotiate with vendors on both the solution as well as the terms and conditions before a contract is awarded. The end result is a fully agreed upon contract. This represents an efficiency over traditional procurement methods. Whereas RFPs are more requirement based, ITNs are solution based. The increased competition created by the use of ITNs proved to be vital in procuring health benefits for Colorado state employees. The last time the state solicited for insurance carriers in 2014, it received only four responses to the RFP. This was largely due to the structure of the RFP process, which asked for one company to meet all the state's healthcare needs. Only a few large companies have that kind of product and capacity. This time, through the ITM process, the state was able to break up its needs into 12 distinct subsections, which increased competition and resulted in 84 proposals. As it relates to Colorado's new healthcare benefits package, the state reduced or controlled its spending and reinvested the savings to offer additional products to state employees. It allowed the state to negotiate with separate vendors at the same time, and vendors improved their offers as the state's needs became clearer and the negotiations evolved. The process also allowed the state to require key decision makers with vendors to attend the negotiations, which allowed for quick, real-time agreements to be made. While invitations to negotiate aren't a one-size-fits-all solution to the challenges of procurement, they present a fresh take on an old model and are particularly helpful in complex solicitations like enterprise IT systems or health insurance. Thank you again to NASCA and our counterparts around the country for recognizing the state of Colorado and its dedicated public servants.